So here's all the tortoise pens that we've been working hard to build. As you can see, we're not finished by any means. We're hoping to actually put a flowing river type stream in the front of all the enclosure. Oh, you hear the thunder? Anyways, hopefully the stream will go in the fronts of all the enclosures to give them cool, refreshing water on a hot, sunny day. So one of the questions we get asked all the time is how can you afford to feed all of those animals? Because as everybody knows, we're not an independently wealthy family. And one of the ways is we grow a lot of the food here on the property. And these are cocoa plums and we have these all along our pond area. So we come out and we harvest these. The box turtles love them, some of the tortoises love them. So this is one of the ways that we cut out the cost of purchasing so much food for the animals. So this morning on our morning journey through the property, Ellie and I found a hatched golden thread turtle. Let's see, I don't want to get both hands dirty. Look at that long tail and the three beautiful golden lines on it. It's such a beautiful, it's actually an endangered species. Tell them, Ellie, where you see the turtle, you like the turtle? Before we left the house this morning, we sent the kids out to pick some fresh Spanish needle, or it's also known as shepherd's needle, and it is a weed that grows, if I can separate it here, wild in Florida, and it's very nutritious to a lot of animals, and the guinea pigs and rabbits actually like it as a treat. Come on, boys. Come. It's good to give animals different foods as enrichment. It definitely uh, helps break up the monotony of their day and gives them stimulation in their environment. I'm going to come over here to the mama bunny who's nursing all these babies and we're going to give her a treat of shepherd's needle. Hey mama, how are your babies? Oh, you see her eating? These are all guinea pigs that have been surrendered to us looking for a home. And when they're surrendered to us, they stay here until they're adopted out. Okay, we are here in front of one of our guava fruit trees. As you can see, I love these. I didn't know I loved guava until this tree started producing. And we keep, this right here is a metal water trough that was donated to us from a local sanctuary. Once it started getting rust, they had to get rid of it. So we cut the bottom out, sunk it into the ground around this guava tree, and we grow out our Asian leaf turtle, our giant Asian leaf, which is also known as a grandis or a wood turtle. Oh, tell them, Ellie, tell them, tell them all about it. Anyways, we water the turtles, it waters the tree. The turtles poop, it gives nutrients to the tree. So everything works in unison here and it's like zero maintenance because you're already taking care of the turtles. So anyways, Ellie and I come out here every morning. 
and we pick fresh fruit that falls down from the tree. Oh, what are you saying? You want to smell it? She loves to smell flowers and the fruits. She, she loves it all. This is my little nature baby. <laughs> all right, Ellie, let's go. We got a lot more to do.